Hi, what's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech, and tonight we're going to be essentially moving my server environment. If you guys haven't noticed, I've had a lot of background noise in my live streams and stuff like that. It's getting out of hand. Essentially, under this desk, we have uh, two Dell PowerEdge R710s and a Dell MD3200i SAN. And once I finally put the SAN in, things just got way too loud, but I want to keep it around. So right below me is a garage and we are going to essentially try to throw a, probably just a single cable down there because I don't think I really need more than that. I might go with a couple. We'll see how it goes. But I think I'm just going to throw the single gigabit down. Along with the switch, I have a Cisco, what is it, 2560 uh, 24 port? It's been a while. It's under here. You guys will see it. And we're going to throw all that down here. I have a single switch up top here and that'll run all of this goodness. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. We got to move this desk out and get going. So, yeah. So the first thing we have to do is we need to go shut down all of our VMs. So we're going to open the vSphere client. And yeah, 4K and vSphere does not work well together, by the way. But... And I have two hosts that are currently on VMware ESXi. 6.0 they have about 47 days left of their junk and I do have a CMC on here that has the vCenter server but that's also pretty close to ending at this point so we are going to be trying out a new system meaning I'm going to back all these up to one host I'm gonna migrate everything to a single host and then we will be um, trying out the new Citrix as it is free and includes uh, things like HA failover and so on and so forth as as opposed to VMware which doesn't support that so I just need to power off a couple hosts or power off sorry power off a couple guests here and then shut down the host relocation uh, in case you guys are curious so we have two e5520 s in one of them the other one has two I think 50 uh, I believe they're 5620s so they're a little bit newer and I think one has 32 gigabytes of RAM and the other has 48 so I have some room for expansion this is also why I'm not going to lie that I don't care if Ryzen can run VMs better. I care if Ryzen can run video games better. So keep that in mind. I have plenty of VM power. Oh, I guess I should shut down these PCs as well. Oh. So let's shut down the big boy and the test bench, which I'm just going to hard power off because I'm lazy. And I'll probably have to load, reload Windows here in a second anyways. There's some testing that's coming up. Ugh, I'll just throw this over here for now. Uh, yeah, we'll throw it in the chair. So... This is currently, this is currently what it looks like. It's terrible, terrible. So we need to fix that. a hot podge it's a mess basically I got all the equipment didn't have any cables, so I just used stuff that I had left over all different colors so a huge shout out to everybody that came out which was Colton Brody and Sean they came out and we knocked everything out within like a couple hours which gave us some time to sit down and actually do a live stream with some 
uh, Injustice Gods Among Us, which was super awesome, and in a super quiet office. Once the only power out. drop is here. It's the only power drops there? Of course, we're yeah. closest power drop. But I mean, it's possible to run an actual dedicated breaker at some point, say when you get a bigger UPS. Yeah, we well, there's no now. UPS right now. Yeah, so, but for now, what I'm thinking is, we run down a line and we put in a regular plug for now. Because we could probably find power up there and I can run it off of another plug. That's not an issue. But do you have a plug? I don't I have probably it. do. I'm not even kidding okay. you. If not, I have it all back in the house. Well, I was just thinking for now, I could probably just run... Uh, I could just run power from here and just well, drop like it over there. GFI breaker here. You know what the GFI breakers do? Yeah, eventually. I'm just thinking about just trying to get done what we need to tonight. So DRAC is what is the remote management? It's called Dell Remote Access Control. Dell Remote Access Control. Yeah, um, HP is ILO, IBM and Lenovo are IMM, and it's going to be, only one of them has it, only the top one. The bottom one, since it was a GSA, they didn't even put it in, so I got to get a card for it. But so just pop that in. Uh, you can go into any port on the switch. All switch, all switch ports are open right now. No, no VLANs to worry about. All right, so we're gonna go from uh, port one on controller A. No, not into the switch. Port one on controller okay. A. On the sand bottom. Oh, okay, on the sand. Yeah, I'm on the sand. A. So controller A's top. Port one's furthest port to the left. Right to uh, that's zero. Oh, uh, yeah. As well. One, yeah. One zero same. Uh, and three on the GSA R710. Uh, port two, controller A, to land three on the R710. Not right now, no. I just have a single right now. I have to do that soon, but I haven't. Yeah, three. Well, I was going to show you something. Okay, we did this backwards. You know that you got two extra Ethernets on that one virtual host? You could actually take those and uh, you could put one of these on here and you can do round robin just off of those into the uh, controller and leave your other four ports open on each right okay it's just an idea i'm sorry what you, so what's wait, up which one goes Google's on the switch the white that's, that's, no, that's, no 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 yeah. what? the white one what's the white one do again why'd you unplug them because i was moving them under oh i got you uh so what you're trying to do is set up port zero controller a on the sand which is the blue okay. to the to LAN 3, port 3 on the Google search appliance. Okay. The white one is is uh, from controller A. Port 2 is going to LAN 3 on the R710, the white one. one. Yeah. The green one is the IMM. Oh, yeah, IMM. yeah sorry. Which, all of them suck dick except for ILO. Like, IDRAC sucks, fucking IMM sucks, the only good one is HP, straight up. And freaking iDirect's all fucking Java. <laughs> and it doesn't work with Java 8. So if you're ever having issues rem using remote console, uninstall Java, go to the Java website and go back down in and get Java 7. And then load that and then add the site or add the IP with, port, with the port to the site list and then apply and then you'll be able to get into your remote console. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there clicking, okay, failed, okay, failed for hours. Do you guys know what the, like, the DRAC and all that stuff does by what we mean by a remote console? Yeah. Is it's like you're actually there standing at actually the monitor there, with yeah. the keyboard. Um, so so we're going to, what, what we'll do now is we'll do the, uh, what I would call the, the VMware uh, management, which is going to be port one on both hosts to the switch. Well, I'll start with that one. Yeah, so each host okay. is going to have a cord going from it to the switch. I'll look at the cord routing, trying to make it all look nice. Port one on the switch. So you've got one failed drive? You've got two failed drives. You've only got one right now. One came up. Only one? Only one down. Nice. Let's see if it initializes. 
Dang, sweet. I'm glad one came back online. If the other one comes back online, I'll be ecstatic, dude. Damn. All right, light her up. All right, we're good to, they all got a... Yeah, let's drop a land and then test it, but light it up, yeah. I mean, it's all... You guys can light it up. That means it's going to be local right now until we get a way into it. Or yeah. land, I should say. Which? Which we got to do now. And I still need a UPS, Colton. We don't need a monitor. Well, for that? Oh, yeah, it has to. <laughs> Everything's ready. Yeah, as soon as we yeah. hook the LAN up, yeah, I can get into network, everything. Yeah. Okay. Because of the drag. Yeah. So it doesn't... And I don't even need the drag, technically, because it's going to boot up all by itself. The only one that might not will be this top one. Because it was... Hit. I need to reconfigure the boot. But we'll see. And we're ready. Sweet. Well, we have beers to celebrate. Sweet. I got some 1792 as well. I'm so glad it's not purring in my fucking entertainment room. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think We might have to get a punch and punch it out more. Sweet. I know I'm gonna get, you know how much shit I'm gonna get on fucking YouTube for not being climate controlled? And when I honestly started working, uh, when we do Matt, I thought uh, we would always be doing wiring. I thought my wiring skills would come in handy, they don't. Nonsensicalness of this switch. What do you mean? We're not lit! Just kidding. YouTube famous, well, just your Wallace hat. <laughs> just your Wallace hat. Lit. Look good. Oh! One host up. It's not coming up, so I guess I need to hit the... I thought this one might not. It keeps doing this stupid boot thing. I need to get it figured out. Do you know the default for the iDRAC 6? Nope. iDRAC root Calvin. All right. Yeah, I need to figure this out. But for now, I'm pressing any key to continue. You need a what? So, it's still set to boot from the hard drives that aren't it's even in, in yeah. there anymore. Because three of them were in the host. And then the rest, well. yeah. So, I filled out the deal with by taking three, uh, the three out and putting them in there. So... You can use remote console without a license until it posts. So it'll connect and then you just start the install. Ah, and ESXi doesn't post until it hits this section. And then you just wait until you have the remote management and you just wait and scan until it comes up and then load. Yeah. We are in. Cool. Yeah, do you know what Dang I was saying? Dave was like, he's 
like, are you guys done drilling and shit? Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> what a, like, yes, we're done drilling. He's like, good. Enjoy what a doing. jerk. Calm down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop the video because we're good. If y'all are interested in kind of my VM environment and what I do there and kind of the toys that I play with on the virtualized portion of this, let me know in the comment section below. I have a lot of resources that we can access and go over if you guys have any questions about it. And definitely Colton's very adept with it and has his own stack at his house as well. So we could get together and do some videos if you guys are interested in anything like that. I think it might be a cool new series we could possibly dive into. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next Tuesday.